Isn't that awesome? Just so awesome. Okay, here's spaceship mode one more time coming in this way. Look at that. <laughs> Listen to that echo. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I heard it, but I don't know if it was loud enough for them to hear it. Let's do one more. Probably, probably close to 200, but I don't want to push a number out there that's not true. And up, here we go. Well, let's go down inverted, outside. Can you do it? Yeah. And then we're gonna go right into inverted flight. Oh, I've never done that before. That was cool. Have you heard the exciting news about E-Flight and the Viper? There's a brand new 90 millimeter version of this completely upgraded, super smart, awesome Viper that's out. It just came out today, announced for pre-order. I'm so pumped to get one, but I, like you, have to wait a while. And until then, we're gonna celebrate the release of the new 90 millimeter EDF Viper with my, probably one of my all-time favorite jets to fly. It was a, at least, I think this was my very first 6S EDF, and that is super cool because it still flies. It's still able to, fingers crossed, get in the air. Now, if you wanna see more about the 90 millimeter version, it's linked in our description box below. And if you pre-order one, know that you are helping to support our channel and our family by using that link at no extra cost to you. It's a really beautiful system. It's a great way to say, hey, thanks for the free videos. And uh, you can help us for free. It's really crazy. So if you do that, thank you very much. There's also a new 70 millimeter version of this Viper that is out now. And I think we've got one of those on the way coming to the channel soon, but this is the old original version. So if you like what you see, know that there's a newer updated version with newer electronics in it. And it should just uh, be just as good as the old, but a little bit better. I have flown this thing probably close to a hundred times now. Uh, seriously, I mean, I have flown this a lot. I have four charged batteries with me today. I intend on flying two of them in this video. So let's fly. Wait, wait, I shouldn't say that. I intend on flying one and if that goes well, we might fly another. <laughs> this really is like just an awesome jet. It's so well-rounded. It can fly really slow, has safe technology. It looks amazing. It's probably one of my favorite looking EDFs. I don't know, I say that about a lot of them, but I love the design they chose on this. I truly feel like it's like the RC Sailor theme. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go, let's, let's go full flaps. You really should only do half on the takeoff, but we're gonna go full flaps, you ready? Such an awesome, awesome jet. Have you ever flown this one, Abby? No. Okay, this has got to be your first 6S, yeah? I thought that was gonna be the- Look at uh, that landing gear up, the A10. Yeah. This thing flies so stinking good, you guys. That's hands-free. It just, it'll just go. I love this thing. Anybody that's ever flown the Viper knows how sweet it is. Let's do a full throttle pass while our battery's nice and full. Isn't that awesome? Just so awesome. So, so, so smooth and predictable. It flies on rails. There's no funny CG going on on this thing. It is just awesome. Whoa, sorry guys. Oh, yeah, okay. You went a funny angle on that I one, did, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have enough uh, control going on with the angle that I wanted to do there. I was trying to give you one of these, but that way, it's easy to do this way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's throw a safe off and really just Whoa. have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I should know better. You know. So this doesn't have like insanely high roll rates or anything and there's not a ton of elevator authority, but it's just so predictable and I, I love flying it, right? <laughs> uh, let me show you one of the reasons why we love it. Abby, should I show them? It's one of the reasons why you love this thing. I don't even know what oh, you're talking you about, so. Already. I okay. guess. All right, well, here we go. Let's. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Let's go ahead and give it a roll while we go out I this way. I did forget, though. And I like to do this with safe on because it just makes it easy. 
You guys, this jet has something called spaceship mode. <laughs> and most jets don't have spaceship mode, but here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, spaceship mode. Activated. It looks so cool when you... It's just the flaps. It looks so good. You know what? I've been flying the entire time with flaps half on. <laughs> you forgot so you to know. turn them off. Yeah, I, I, went, I took off with full flaps and I've been flying the whole time with half flaps. That's how good this thing flies. <laughs> So here you go, here's spaceship mode one more time coming in this way, look at that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there's, uh, there's flaps all the way up. Now let's rock it into the air. Guys, we're kind of like dodging some storms here today. I'm sure they've, they've noticed the crazy clouds we got going on. Yeah, we had thunder rolling earlier and look at this, let's see your throttle. It's just a perfect, first 6S EDF to get your feet wet because it's predictable, it's stable. And I just, I never have a bad flight. I may have had a couple bouncy landings on this, unlike the A-10, which is always perfect on the landings, no matter what, except that one time. <laughs> and, forgot about. and it was just a bounce or two, if you, if you weren't there for that, just a couple bounces, which, which tells you how good it is. This thing is just so awesome. Everybody that has one will do anything to keep theirs in the air. They have a rough landing or something, scuff up their wing a little bit. We all want to patch it back up, get it back in the air. I mean, just anyone that flies knows how good this thing is. Look at that, look how silky smooth that was. Jeez, did you juice it right in front of us? Um, Felt like you did. I might have throttled up into it. <laughs> let's, let's do a nice high throttle pass where Nathan's quiet. Oh my goodness, rare, oh, rare, rare currents. <laughs> so fast. What's into that echo? Did you hear it? Did you hear I it? I heard it, but I don't know if it was loud enough for them to hear it. Let's do one more. There's your U pattern. <laughs> we right? were talking about that the other day. Yeah. This is a good jet to do that with. It's just so predictable. No, 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 no. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you're wild. This. I love, love, love flying this. I'm so glad we got this out. And it was just because we knew the 90 millimeter was coming. Uh, they're just like behind on shipping and stuff. So here we go. We'll just fly this one because we love it. Talk about the new 90 You're millimeter. probably at like four minutes. Yeah, I know. I need to consider okay. landing. Let's get that landing gear down. Boom. One, two, three. Very nice. Count them. We'll kick safe on because we have it. So why not? And it really does help to use flaps on this. So there's half flaps. I'll consider hitting full flaps. We might as well. Let's do full flaps on the landing. Spaceship mode, we'll bring it in. We're so lucky today too, because there's like no wind. You guys want to stick around for a second flight if this landing goes well? Huh? Huh? Hey, I'll take it. That's pretty good. Breezed it. I had about a one inch bounce, right? Mm -hmm. but Very small. Nice. Let's do a second flight. This is just super fun. You might be turning the camera off in just a second. <laughs> you're gonna hit the grass and time to cut oh. <laughs> uh, if you guys are curious what batteries I'm flying on we'll have them linked in the description box below there's you know what we don't need full flaps let's do half I'm blasting off this way which is very rare I usually don't do that I usually try to get it in front of us but I just wanted to get in the air this is really fun how long has it been since I've flown the Viper I couldn't tell you man I'm glad we're here flaps are up landing gear Oh, I've had that happen before. What? So my right wheel likes to stay down sometimes. It just gets, there, it went up. So that's <laughs> that's just normal for landing gear, unfortunately. Did you guys see that? Some people probably did. Is the one down still? Yes. Yep. Uh, sometimes when I come in a little bit rocky on a landing, I don't know, it just, it just does that. I might be flying with my wheels down on this flight because now it looks like two of them are down. Here we go. Come on, put the little wheels up. Got three, two, one. Get that wheel up there, nope. buddy. Ah, <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, I'll fly with one down. That's okay. Let's go. <laughs> have we had this plane over a year or over I've two had years? This forever. I don't know. Probably a year and a half or so. 
Was it pre-COVID or post-COVID? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like pre-COVID. I do too, I do too. So maybe going on two. Yeah, and it still flies. I have not had to put, knock on wood, any glue on this airplane, any tape, no uh, parts, nothing. So the fact that that one little wheel likes to stick down there while I'm flying after, I am sure, I am positive, <laughs> over a hundred flights, for sure, probably, probably close to 200, but I don't want to push a number out there that's not true. Look at that. And up, here we go. And let's go down inverted, outside. Can we do it? Yeah. And then we're gonna go right into inverted flight. Oh, I've never done that before. That was cool. Does it ever make your like heart stop when you're no throttle like that, aiming right toward the ground. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> My heart did that for you. And I was safe scared. on, because I rolled out of that. I rolled too far over trying to make that turn. I can just feel it in the air. This storm is going to catch us off guard, <laughs> but I have to fly more. I've got, I have a total of four <laughs> batteries, and that's the beauty of these batteries, guys. Let's say it does start raining. I charged four these batteries will discharge themselves if I don't get to use them. I know you guys know that by now, but it's still exciting to me because I don't have to worry about going home and putting my batteries in a storage charge. Nope, sorry. While well, we're talking about safety of stuff too, guys, you need to fly with AMA, okay? I know that it just looks silky smooth and easy flying this jet, but crashes do happen. When they happen, we put them on the channel. You guys get to see uh, when we nose something into the ground or whatever and hopefully we never have to take advantage of our AMA insurance the Academy of Model Aeronautics But sometimes it does happen. We've seen it happen. We've seen them step in to cover things. Let's go rocket into the air That's like one of my favorite things to do on this jet <laughs> roll over and then up elevator Maybe give it a little roll coming down zero throttle and then pull up Yeah, super cool zero throttle Scratching a bug, zero throttle. <laughs> okay, let's go safe on, full flaps again. And yeah, I just, guys, I love this hobby and I wanna see it thrive and succeed and I want everybody in this hobby to do so as well. And in order to do that, we have to represent the hobby well, you know? There's spaceship mode, zero throttle right now. Let's ease onto the throttle. Look at that slow flight. It can go slower, it can go slower. But with one wheel down, oh, let's throttle out of that. <laughs> you know, we just want everybody to be safe and enjoy the hobby. You can have a blast without being uh, reckless or anything. So um, it'll be linked in the description box below if you want to learn more about AMA and possibly sign up. It's about the cost of one of these batteries we're flying this jet on. And you're covered for the whole year. You really should consider doing it if you're not already. If you are, let us know the reasons why you love AMA in the comments below. All right, you're at four minutes. Four minutes? Mm -hmm. oh, I could fly this thing forever. But you know what? I'm actually flying not on a 3200 milliamp battery, but a 4000 milliamp battery. So for that, let's roll <laughs> and climb. <laughs> and roll while we climb. And let's do the inverted outside death drop into inverted flight. Super high in the air, because I'm a chicken. And then we're going to go outside loop here. Can we do it? Can it be done? Can it be done? Can I finish that? Yeah, nice. That was cool. Let's finish it off with a Cuban 8. Roll. This thing is just super fun, Abby. you got to fly this. I mean, you have to. It doesn't even have a landing gear that wants to come down. So, you know, you it's broke not it. perfect. I broke it. You get to fly it. We have the 90 millimeter Viper on the way. Mm -hmm. Sweat bee. And another one you And say? we have the updated version of this on the way. Okay, so, and it yeah. looks it looks like this one? Looks just like okay, this one. You've fine. got to fly it. Alright, fine. And it flies. I am hand you know, with safe, you'll love it. What do you think? Do you want to fly it like today? Because I have extra batteries. Maybe for another video. Maybe for another video. <laughs> Ooh, that's exciting. Abby, <laughs> you might fly your first 6S jet. Ooh, that's cool. Let's taxi <laughs> this in. I got to end this video so we can start Abby's Viper video. Not today. I got to go put makeup on. <laughs> no, you got to do it. You have to do it. I look a mess. In another video. I'll do the intro for you. No. Oh, no, okay. I want to do my fine, own intro. Fine, fine, fine. We'll save the Viper for another day. 
Look at that beautiful, beautiful EDF just begging you to fly it. That's exciting. I, I love knowing you want to fly this. What did we name that pilot? Whatever your whatever your name is, I'm very sorry. Victor? Victor <laughs> probably, the probably, Viper, probably. probably. <laughs> there you go, guys. The legendary Viper it holds a very soft spot in my heart because it was my first 6S EDF. It is extremely fun to fly, very predictable, and it is so good that it's earned itself two versions of upgrades. You've now got the updated 70 millimeter version, which is what I'm holding now, and then the brand new 90 millimeter version. It's bigger, it's more powerful. It can fly on a 5,000 to 7,000 milliamp 6S battery. I highly recommend a 50C or higher discharge rating, probably, uh, when we fly that. And I'm very, very excited. Oh, did I mention it's red and not blue? At the very least, it is worth checking out. And we'll have a link in the description box below, as well as this, actually the updated version now, if you're interested. We'll have all the good stuff linked below. I wanna thank the big guy upstairs for holding off all these rolling. It's bunch. crazy looking over there. It's coming. Camera never does it justice. That is intense looking right there. We've heard that thunder just rolling in today and uh, it's coming, so thanks for holding it off. Also, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because you guys are the true backbone to our channel. You know we couldn't do this without you and uh, I just wanna say thanks. We really mean that from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have another awesome jet video. I know exactly which one I'm thinking right now. If you still need some speed in your life, you want something that looks just a little bit cooler, a little bit more realistic, there's a brand new F-16 jet that is out. We recently flew it and had a great time. That video is popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!